Oh yeah. Ayla. Ayla, say hi, Papa. Say hi to Papa. Ayla. What's good people, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm gonna be doing my first vlog going to Swansea, uh, which is in South Wales. I'll be honest, I've never been there before and I'm gonna be taking my family with me. So I'm taking my missus and my nearly two year old daughter. So firstly, I'll tell you the, re the reasons why we're going down there. I've been offered a job down there. And the job is bus driving. So what better way is there to see the area, to see what the people are like, to see different locations than bus driving. So I'm gonna be obviously be interacting with the public and I'm gonna obviously be seeing the roads. Now this is one good thing about having a bus license. Obviously personally, I'm not gonna be doing it on the long run, but for, for, the, for the time being, whilst I'm enjoying my life and traveling and stuff, for someone like me, it's convenient because when you get a bus, uh, when you've got a bus license and you work with agencies, you can go anywhere across the UK and get jobs. So it's really convenient for me and it's quite flexible. So I'm gonna to go to South Wales today for the first time, taking my family with me. It was obviously the intentions was to go on my own at first, but I'll be honest, I'll give you a couple of reasons why I'm taking my family. One, I'm clingy. I can't sleep without them. I like giving them cuddles at night. Two, I do feel lonely when I've got free time. So yeah, it's nice to have them with me. And three, I can't cook to save my life. So somebody needs to feed me whilst I'm, when I'm at home and obviously for my lunch for work and stuff. Uh, another reason is because of the, ad the adventure time. So obviously my free time and my days off, we want to go out and enjoy, enjoy ourselves and have a little break. Because usually what we do, because we're obviously based in Manchester and then she's from London. So whenever we usually go for a break it's always to London but that's always with family we're always around family so we want to enjoy ourselves in an environment where we've never been to and it's actually like a vacation so that's the reasons why I'm taking them with me personally I don't think a week is long a long enough you know you can have a sh quick getaway which is a couple of days or a week or so but I like to go away for over a month when I go somewhere do you understand because you need about a week to settle in and then you need a couple of weeks to enjoy yourself so it's convenient that I've got a job there so I can earn some money but as well as that, we can settle in nicely. We found a place on Airbnb. Further on to this vlog, I'll explain. Let's, let's get there first and then obviously see the environment, see the place. Once I've checked in and stuff, I'll talk to you about the, uh, the accommodation and how, how, how much it's costing us, etc. and where we stay in and the rest of it. But for now, let's just finish off packing. I don't think you really need to be seeing all these small details. It's a bit boring. So I'm gonna finish packing and stuff. And once we're all ready and we're on road, I will update you guys with what's going on. Peace. It's so convenient having an estate car so I've got more space to pack stuff because look at this if it was just me it would have been that one black suitcase and maybe my my backpack yeah obviously my missus is here no even with her actually it won't even be that much as well just a couple of bags but look at this because we've got a baby look how much stuff we have to take it's crazy man it's convenient having an estate car we have finally set off the car is fully jam-packed, I don't know if you can see the boot properly, but the boot's full, absolutely full. Uh, the baby's pram is in the car behind the seat. She's just riding shotgun now, mummy's sat in the back. But yeah, I'm just going to go see my sister, then nip to my mum's and see my mum and dad before I leave. So yeah, keep you guys updated with the journey. So we're only just setting off now, the time is 20 past 4, um, it's a Thursday afternoon so we're going to obviously end up hitting traffic but I'll let you guys know how the journey is and how many pit stops we have, if we have any, hopefully, well we've got a baby so we're going to have to have pit stops but yeah so my sat nav is showing 4 hours and 34 minutes so yeah let's see how we get on. supposed to make a quick pit stop in Birmingham at my sister's in West Bromwich because it was um, on the way to Wales it's now eight o'clock we ended up staying there for a few hours so it's gonna be late by the time we get there now 
So yeah, I'm gonna probably have to call it a day. But when we get there, probably just gonna check in, uh, unpack the car a little bit, call it an early night. So we'll start the vlog again tomorrow. Morning guys. Today is Friday morning. Last night we got here about quarter to 12 at midnight. Um, it was a little bit too late and we was knackered and too drained out to start emptying the car lot. As you can see, everything's still in the car. Um, we just went in. Um, the people that live in the house was already asleep. But I need to go because she's moaning. But I'm nipping to the shop now just to get some milk um, and just a bit, few bits and bobs. And then we're going to just probably continue with the day and I'll continue vlogging then. Over and out. So that little shop is our local Sri Lankan shop. The guy's name is Ashuk. Yeah, he was being friendly. He's telling me that there's another Bengali restaurant down there somewhere. So yeah, cheers, Ashuk. See you soon, lad. to the Sri Lankan shop this is our room as you can see unfortunately it's two single beds but they do the job it's cold here I slept with Isla last night I'll show you the room. Have a look at this for a view yep there's free parking on the street as well I'll put a link for this um, this Airbnb property. So look, this is the house that we're staying in, the one on the corner there where my car is. And the cafe is literally across the road and the beach is just over there as you can see. So I would highly recommend staying here if anybody's ever coming around this area of Swansea. I've just done my morning prayers, I'm gonna get ready for work now. Uh, well, it's an assessment day today, inshallah, hopefully God willing I pass, once I pass that then I'm going to come home and probably continue going on an adventure around here with my wife, she doesn't want to get into this, she's a bit shy. Can you say hi? Are you going to go anywhere with Ayla? What? She's got social anxiety, she's scared she doesn't want to go out without me. But I have to be a supportive husband. I told her to take a diazepam, I've got some in my bag. A few inches later. I've just got back, um, so the job didn't work out. There was a few inconsistencies with my identification. No, I'm not an immigrant, but I've had a couple of changes done, so um, because it's, because it's inconsistent, they couldn't accept me. They said I have to wait until everything comes back. So that's me. He's just here for no reason, but I might as well make use out of my trip here and the weather because it's absolutely gorgeous. So, I'm going to take this little munchkin 
and my missus and go out and enjoy the sun and see what swans is like. Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion, rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking, reopen, the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go She's a bit unsure about the sand on her feet. Stop, 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 stop. She doesn't like it. Come on. Right, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hold mommy's hand. Let's go. Walking for only like another video. Let's go to the dog. So I'm having a proud moment here as a father. My daughter has embraced the sand. Remember before she was scared? Look at her now. Oh yeah. Ayla. Ayla, go hi Baba. Say hi to Baba. Ayla. Yeah, she's enjoying herself now. She likes the sea. She likes the beach. She's picking up her first seashell. Wow! I know. Wow! Let's see. What's this one? Show Baba. Baba Del. Wow, mommy. Mom, what's that? For shell? Say shell. And I think my wife's coming out of her shell a little bit, aren't you, babe? Oh, babe, that's giving me trypophobia. Look at that. Are you coming out your shell a bit? No. Huh? Is that what you've been trapped Zoom in? Into that. Is that what you've been trapped in? Uh. Is that what you've been trapped inside that shell? Is that why you're all shy? Come, Isla's friend there, quick! Look, oi! That, that kid tried making Stop friends with him before, let's go.
So that's about it guys, we was on the beach for over an hour We had fun, Isla, broke her Isla built us confidence to go in the sand and go near the water This is what she's doing now because she's thirsty And mummy's come out of her shell a little bit now as you can see Yeah we're going to head back to our beach home now And rinse off, probably have a shower, maybe have a bath or something and then Probably have a nap because I'm kind of tired now, what about you the babe? The sun's drained us out Are you tired as well? Yeah not used I'm to I'm knackered Come on, yes, we're going to head back now. Peace.